this. Anybody know what this says? Hebrew. <laughs> Wrong language and religion, but a good guess. You got it. Holiness to the Lord. And it, it's, it's a crown, but it's not your traditional crown of what you would think. It is a crown that has these blue ribbons. The Bible specifically mentions, and again, blue. And remember, again, blue, so you have this color blue that, the, that all people are wearing. And then the same representation of the blue. And just as a note, guess what this fabric is also? This is the same fabric that would be the veil of the temple minus the gold. So you have the clothing that the, the normal people are wearing, the clothing of the priest, and the veil that is all tied together. So again, minus the gold. That's the only one thing. It wouldn't have the gold. So um, another interesting, so oh, sorry, back to the crown. The crown says holiness to the Lord. Here's a question by raise of hands. Was holiness to the Lord on the ancient tabernacle? You guys know because you saw one. They actually were at a, they, they participated in a tabernacle, one of the tabernacle. I've done two now, two tabernacle camps where they rebuilt a full-scale tabernacle and camped around it. And so they actually know. So you guys can't vote because you already know. So was holiness to the Lord on the tabernacle, Solomon's temple, or Herod's temple? Who says yes, it was? I'll, I'll be brave and say yes. Who says no? And who's not voting? <laughs> You're like, well, you told us not to vote. <laughs> it is not. The only place that they would have had holiness to the Lord is on the crown of the high priest. That is where we get the phrase. So that is a modern temple use, holiness to the Lord on the front of the temple. 